I'll be going over a bit deal control replay. Uh, I'm going to share my thought process when I'm playing and show you how I approach breaking a board. So we're reversing Kings and Snake Eye and they end up winning the die roll. Draw White Dragon, Black Dragon, uh, Blue Balion, Chaos Emperor, and Nib. And they opened uh, Kingsmith plus Poplar, so that should be able to beat Nib on its own. Um, so they go Requiem, some Kingsmith, they equip the Requiem. Original Sand is now Ash, Ash adds Poplar, and then Poplar sums itself out. From here they make Masquerina, and then equip Poplar. Uh, so I made a slight misplay here. I think this was really telegraphed that they were going for like an early Apo, and I should have nipped here. Um, but instead I waited for Ash and Poplar. I kind of got like pretty greedy hoping that they would summon out Oak and an Oak Reborn. But that just wasn't necessary, like I just didn't need to do that. I could just nip there and play it much safer because my hand is like really strong. I have Chaos Emperor, Lubel, and White Dragon and Black Dragon, so I have like four engine pieces and I have the nip body. So I think I played it a little bit risky there for no reason. And now I'm fourth to nip here. Uh, where now they get flame root summon out too and they haven't went through fiendsness yet so they still just end up pull comboing uh, and they also have imperm valor on top of it so it's really strong for them so they end up going for desert sequentia and then princess they equipped sequentia princess wearing flame bridge flamers play side p desert negate princess and just go into an apo or sorry make an sp to banish the nib and then they're hoping that they go IP into Apo on my turn. So at this point, um, I think that this board is breakable, at least from my perspective. I figure that this card is probably not a buff. It's probably not Bonfire because they would have started with it. And I figured this is more than likely a hand trap because if it's an engine piece, it probably would have been used. Um, it could be Oak but it's more than likely a hand trap. So I'm looking at two hand traps, SP Princess plus Desiree, which is breakable. Uh, so I want to start off by baiting out the Princess. So I figure if I start off with Blackmail and make Fisty, there's like a decent chance that they would either SP it or Princess, um, mainly because you know they just want to put me on like don't have an extender, which is what they do. Uh, it's more likely with Princess though, because they want to go SP Banish Princess plus one of my guys, so that way the IP is alive to make an Apo. Uh, fortunately, I have White Dragon, so they're not able to do that though. Oh, so there's all their Ashen and Poplar, Gravity and Templar and Oak. So now I know that this, the last card's more than likely a hand trap after they already at did the oak. Um, so now I activated the Balian before summoning White Dragon because I want to attack over the SP so they have one less interruption. That way I can summon White Dragon, go battle phase, kill the SP, and then kill their Masquerina. That way they can't make like a Nightmare Phoenix or anything. And then I kill their IP. And then from here, I'm thinking like a couple of things. I could go Chaos Angel. Um, but that just loses to the Imperm, which I'm assuming is an Imperm, so I didn't think that was a good play. So instead I went for the Balion, then used Jurisworm to send the Ash. Uh, it's very important to keep the Prince on field because you need something to use with Albaz into. Whenever, whenever I'm breaking a board, my like the only thing I'm trying to accomplish is get to the point where my seal is going to be able to summon an Albaz, and the Albaz won't be able to get negated by like an Imperm or something. So I need to figure out a way to basically get to seal and banish this, which I've basically already been able to do. So the Valiant baited out the Valor, which I was kind of hoping that it didn't get Valor, but it's fine. Uh, so from here I go summon Randy, Randy, and then this summons out Safer. I was trying to bait out the Desiree, uh, but I wasn't really able to that well. So I just go for Albion, and then I hope like Albion draws something good, but I don't. I just draw into an Ogre. Uh, so from there I go Seal, and then Safer, add back Chaos Emperor. But I figured Chaos Emperor would probably be able to Desiree, which it does, which I'm not too sure why he would actually Desiree this. Because it doesn't like actually do anything, like either add to the Balan or Safer back, and both of them just are dead. Uh, so I just go Striker here, add Black Dragon. 
and then special black dragon, then go SP to banish the uh, infirm. So I've gotten to the point where, yeah, he has no more interruptions left, and I'm able to safely seal some Nalbaz and then fuse this board. Unfortunately, I did misplay, however, uh, and you'll see that in like two seconds. So I go seal, and I bounce back the Desiree, but I was supposed to bounce back Sequentia, and the reason for this is because I'm supposed to seal bounce back Sequentia and then summon Albaz. Albaz fused with the Desiree because he has no life gains in the graveyard. And then Mirror Jade banish the princess, but instead I bounce the Desiree, summon Albaz, and then fuse with the princess. And the reason why this is wrong is because now they get to activate princess immediately and that basically forced out both my interruptions. Um, so I have to chain SP, banish both itself and Mirror Jade, and then chain Mirror Jade, banish the Poplar, that way the Princess doesn't come out. And this is just like, very easily a game from here. Oh, you should go attack the Temple, place Diabell Star, Normal Oak, Reborn, summon Diabell Star, sack off into Ash, Flamber's Reborn too, and that's just game. So then on to the next game. Oh, so yeah, so I, I did think that game was winnable if I didn't misplay, but I did, so, you know, good to know and for the future. I opened Black Mode Dragon, two uh, Lubalion, Skildrain, and Veiler. He has Magnema plus three hand traps and a bonfire, so he definitely opened very strong, but I basically have the FTK of Lubalion plus Skildrain, and that's just really difficult to beat. Uh, so I go normal Black Mode Dragon, search Remedy, summon Remedy effect. Which, I'm not sure why he bestials this, doesn't really make sense to me. Like, that was just not needed. Or at least do it on resolution. Like, there's just no benefit to doing it there. Because if you bestial there, and there's like a dragon in my hand I want to summon, which there wasn't, but maybe there could have been. And now I don't need to play around a bestial as well. Oh, it's nice summon out Lubalion, Aki Lubalion. Uh, I don't know why he didn't Valor this. I mean, I guess he was thinking that he could just Ogre it, but like... He knows that I'm on this deal control because I didn't go for Striker Dragon game one. And when I did go for Striker Dragon, I didn't activate the effect. So I think he could have valored this because this could also just place Branded Beast. So I'm not too sure on why he did that play. But then I go some Magma, Vanish the Remedy. And then regain one Magma two to play around Ogre. Uh, in which he does try to Ogre, realizing that Magma is Genic two, so it doesn't work. I get the draw, draw on second regain, so now his ogre is just super dead. Uh, then I go regain one black mode two, once again play around ogre. So search out the RMD and then some Magnemut. Check the second regain and then set skill drain, and there's just nothing that you could do about skill drain. Oh, uh, so this is just game. See some stairs from now, that way you don't get the extra draw, but there's just like nothing realistic that he can do. I'm also not sure why he sent Magnemut with the Druid Swarm when he knows I have regain, which can summon it back. If he would have sent the token, because the token is huge, I'm pretty sure the token was like 86, 70. So, definitely misplay on his end. One set he goes for Oak and then Oak into Flambridge, sends back Engraver. Then, yeah, I think he only sent back Engraver because he thought token was smaller. Like he asked what the defense was. Not realizing how big it was. So I definitely missed playing his next Now he has to link them off into IP. And then make like Princess and Dahita. And that's just horrible. Oh, uh, so this is just game. I just go Lubellion into Baldrake. Well, it's actually not game on its own. I have to top deck like any normal summon. After with my regains. Which I do, so. I go Drew's from Sen and then Baldrake. And then regain draws. And I draw into Chaos Phase, I think. Yeah. And then some white dragon, and that's just game. And then on to game three. I think I made a pretty bad misplay this game too. I think this was definitely winnable. Or like it was it was definitely winnable. Um but I'm not sure how much my misplay mattered that much. Uh so you start off with like a normal snake eye line, but he made like a bit of a misplay. I think he like I don't know, I think he made like a slight miscalculation in his line. Because he goes straight into Sleen and then Flamer summons out. Or not. 
Yeah, yeah Flamer summons out two. And then instead of going to Apo, he goes into Requiem, which then summons out Fiend Smith. And since he did that, I can then trigger my Gizmek Uka. And this summons out uh, Ecclesia, which Ecclesia can then summon out Albaz, which can then fuse with you know, their whole board, basically. So I get rid of the Selene, and then I still have Mirror Jade. So I think at this point, I was supposed to... Yeah, I think here I was supposed to activate... Um, nothing's actually fine to wait. Because the best he has is like SP, so, or at least from my perspective. So he goes summons SP, banish the target to my Mirror Jade. I chain Mirror Jade, and then he chains SP. I chain Baldrake here on his engraver, just so he doesn't get the free body, so it's easier to kill him. Um, and then I banish my own Gizmic Uka with my Mirror Jade, and then Mirror Jade gets the banished effect because he left it by SP, and then he sets Skill Drain, and then he. He tries to argue with me and say that my Mirror Jade resolves before SP, but that's just not true because he's turned player. So I sent him like a link. Um, and this is where I made like a really big misplay. I was kind of tilted, so I told him to resolve Mirror Jade before resolving my Albion and Ecclesia. Which, you should always resolve Albion and Ecclesia first. Because now he has a chance to Baldrake, when otherwise the B Baldrake would have been destroyed by Mirror Jade. So if I went like... Okay, like nothing here. He would have to go Baldrick before I acted my Albion. And then I couldn't choose to resolve Mirror Jade after. Um, but instead he gets to Baldrick here. Banish my Albion so I don't get triggered that. And then I activate Quem to add back to my hand. Or Ecclesia. And then there's no way I can really kill him from here. Uh, 5k, 65. Yeah, like I make Chaos Angel. I'm hoping that this is Imperm. I knew that it would bait out something. Because uh, I knew that one card in his name was Ash, so I, I figured it was either Imperm Veil or Skill Drain Valor, and I was just really hoping that wasn't Skill Drain, because there was just no way that I could really play around that. And I also just don't have game through it, so it's just kind of unfortunate that I was Skill Drain. Uh, so I just attack and deal 6,000 damage, and then leave him at 100. And then pass. So this is where I made like a pretty big misplay as well. He goes normal summon Ash, and like, I just didn't have to seal this. I, there's just really no need to. Like, he goes Ash and stuff with Skill Drain. I summon Poplar. Poplar as original. And then, like, he just can't really do anything from there. Like, you could place Diabella Star. And then, like, Diabella Star plays Flamberge. Or I don't send Flamberge. But that just doesn't do anything. Or he can't even do that because I just Ogre the Diabella Star. So, if I just let Ash, like, resolve and didn't kill it or didn't bounce it immediately, then it would have been a different game. Um, but he also could have just went battle phase and attack seal, and then forced to the ash, and he has wants in the main phase too. So he could just set up a huge board regardless. So that wand and draw is just huge for him. So I just don't think that there is a way to win. If I did have lethal that last turn, let me know, like in the comments or whatever, because I just, I don't think I had a way. But if there is, I want to know. Because I don't see how I could do more than 6k. Because if I didn't make Chaos Angel, I'd have to crash Abyss Deal. And that's only 6,500. And he just doesn't have to activate his skill drain. And then I'd be in the same spot. He has Ash plus Wanted. And all I have is Seal plus Angel. Or maybe not even Angel. Maybe like Seal plus IP. Which I still don't think it's beating that. Uh, but instead he just gets a full combo. He goes Poplar, plays Dibel Star. Which I think I forgot to Ogre this. But yeah, I was kind of just tilted that he top decked Wanted, so I just forget to Ogre this, because, like, the game's over regardless. Um, but it was definitely correct to Ogre it. But, yeah, he goes Princess, Flamberge, Nixida, Flamberge comes back to Oak Ash, Oak Reborn, and then it just goes Axis Code, and then pops the Chaos Angel, and this is exact lethal. So I wanted to show off, you know, this game specifically just because it was versus meta and although i did lose i think that it was just a good replay to show that i this deck can definitely win if i were to play a little bit better uh, and there's just, like the cool interactions that has with gizmic uka and how strong something mirror it can be on their own turn 
even though I did misplay a little bit and should have won because I would have had regain that would have given me another draw. And I would have been a summon back Baldrick on his turn, have another interruption. So it would have been a completely different game. Um, but yeah, that'll be all. See ya.